So a few days ago I finished the tricycle but I didn't like how it looked plus it didn't seem to safe. So if you can see it's uh, just a basket and then these I can fit by yourself fine but then if I put both of them there it would have to go here and it doesn't leave too much room for Risa and she ends up hitting right here. So what I decided to do is create a fiberglass bench that's going to elevate them up to here so they can sit here. Both of their backs should be somewhere around here and that gives them room so they don't have to worry about hitting their head on there and I need to cover the wheels up because they're too exposed for my taste. So last night I stayed up to about 3 in the morning working on this design right here. I'm hoping that even though it's not really wide in the middle that'll be enough room for their legs and then I added some more space here for their arms so at least they'll be shoulder to shoulder but they're not going to be on top of each other. It's supposed to be something that I can put in bolt on and then if I need to fix it or do anything I can just bolt it off. So I went to Lowe's last night and uh, this is the cardboard that comes at the top and the bottom of the plywood. They gave it to me for free and they also cut it for me so I got two sheets. They're all 48 inches wide. These are 26, 26, 22 and 22. I also got some cardboard for the round areas over the wheels. I got some fiberglass resin, three sheets right there, some gloves, some cups, brushes, some glue sandpaper, some scissors to cut the fiberglass cloth. So taking the SketchUp design, I just kind of hand drew this with the measurements. These are the 26 by 48 boards and these are the 22 by 48. And so that's how I'm going to cut them up. I have most of the pieces except the ones that go over the wheel. Hopefully all that is right and it fits. So this is like the first setup. That's the side walls and the middle. Obviously these are going to stand up but I just taped them now just to hold them in place while I measure everything. So that's where they're gonna put their feet on that's where they're gonna sit I still have a backing that goes right here there's gonna be uh, side walls here and this side and then I'm gonna put some cardboard to cover the front there's gonna be a step here it goes up five inches so they can step onto here where they're gonna be standing that's where the center of the axle is so that's where I want most of their weight even though they're gonna sit on here if they sit here this, they're gonna be too close to the seat this is the side so this is gonna be basically like the uh, outside of the tire I decided to make, put holes in it and leave that cardboard pieces right there as a little bit of support if I left the whole cardboard in there it would have been hard to get the fiberglass inside I don't like how it looks so I might cut them but for right now I'm gonna leave them just in case and then I took those pieces that go in there these right here and then I'm gonna use them for this piece right here because this is a wild card you don't really know what the length is until you actually set it so to get a more accurate measurement I had to cut it with those wedges I made one of these it should go in here like that and that's gonna create a step for them to go in so this is how it looks like so far I got most of the uh, parts in I cocked all the corners I put the seat in there cocked it I need to cover this I'm gonna use some cardboard it's flexible and then once I put the resin in it's gonna make it hard I'm not worried about if it's gonna be tough or not and then above the cardboard goes the resin and above the resin goes the uh, fiberglass it should be pretty sturdy one thing I did forget to mention is the only way I can get these cardboard pieces to come together I had to glue it because tape wasn't working. I wanted to kind of like tip it all up before I finalized it, but it wasn't sticking together. So I decided just to glue it and I uh, hope that uh, all the measurements were right. And so far it's coming out okay. So here it is fully assembled. I just uh, sanded all the corners, kind of get it all nice and cleaned up so that I can put the resin. Since I already finished all the measurements and everything, I took the bike outside so I can get some extra room. It's really light too, it's all cardboard. Uh, it'll get heavier with the resin and uh, fiberglass, but not too much more. Hey guys, so I just finished adding the first coat of resin to the seat. I'm gonna do the fiberglass with uh, a couple of extra layers of resin. For the most part, it came out okay. I think I did too much mixture. I had about 12 ounces. And and by the time I got halfway through the bottle, it was already pegged up. So I had to dump that. I still made another 12 ounces, I wasn't thinking. So from this point, I think I'm just gonna make six ounces. And hopefully that's gonna give me enough time to use it all up before it starts getting all thick and, and nasty. It pretty much looks the same, just besides looking wet. It looks good. There's a couple spots where it was getting hard already. And so there's like uh, chunks of resin. Just added the layer of fiberglass to the bench. So I went to West Marine and I bought this three yard by 38 inch fiberglass mat. And uh, what I did is I cut it on the spots where it would have been. This is not fiberglass, this is not fiberglass, which I'm gonna have to do this after. This whole piece right here is one big piece all the way up and over. I cut it here so it'll go inside. So that way the whole center is gonna be one big piece. It's not the prettiest job, but I'm already kind of tired. So I'm just trying to get it on there. I did get some bubbles, which I'm gonna have to like pop a hole on there so I can get some resin. 
them inside because it's one big piece it'll stay together i just put some fiberglass at the bottom and i got kind of lazy i was kind of irritated already because it was hot in the morning the sun was right there hitting me right in the face so the uh, solvent was getting hard extra fast because it was so hot so i made a bunch of mistakes these are bubbles now that it's kind of cooled off a little bit i got some energy back i'm going to take my time sand all this stuff down like a lot of these mistakes that i made and tomorrow hopefully i can do one more sanding one more layer of resin to even it all out another sanding and then uh, it'll be ready for paint i've also decided to cut these off just because it's going to be troublesome with the fiberglass and also it's going to be the weakest point it should be strong enough that it's not going to bend on me i gotta make the holes right now and i gotta sand it all down add some primer smooth it out with some putty and then do a final paint So here it is. Right now, I just finished adding the primer. There's a few spots that look kind of weak or warped, so I added some Bondo to it. As soon as it's dry, I'm gonna sand it down and then do the final paint. It's not perfect. You can still see the resin kind of dripping, but I don't have the time or the energy to sand it all smooth. So I'm just gonna have it uh, look kind of rough. It's pretty solid, so as long as it doesn't uh, fall apart on me, I'm, uh, I'm satisfied with that. It's done. I got the seat belt on there. I got the safety flag. I got a couple of safety features. Some of these uh, hooks to tie stuff with. So I did have one major problem is that because I made the drop five inches, then it barely misses that frame part right there. So it actually causes too much weight to go onto the backside. I had to like add like a little board to kind of keep the weight off of it. Thank you for watching guys. Please subscribe to this channel. Click right here to see the latest upload. Click here to see videos that relate to this video right here. Don't forget to hit the little bell so you can get notifications for whenever I upload new videos. And also if you like this video, please hit the like button. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.